Gabe Ross with your first alert forecast. Back with you at 544 on this Monday. I want to alert you to not only the chance for some showers ahead of Thanksgiving, but a couple storms as well. In fact, Storm Prediction Center outlining all of southeastern North Carolina under a marginal risk, a level one out of five for some severe rated storms. This is mainly going to be late Tuesday. We'll say about Tuesday afternoon through the evening, overnight and even parts early Wednesday too. damaging winds be the primary concern. Can't rule out a couple of rotating storms though too, so a good idea to keep an eye on your first alert weather app. Otherwise, gusty winds, some torrential downpours would be the other big thing, but these clusters very isolated and you'll see what we're talking about here in just a little bit. Getting you through the next 24 hours or so, middle and upper 60s, clouds on the increase tonight, mostly cloudy, and that's going to limit how far temps fall back. Mainly 50s expected. Your rain chances start to tick up just a little bit. Uh, prefrontal trough, we'll call it, uh, as we get toward daybreak tomorrow. Clouds on the thick side and showers scattered and at times could be gusty. So, that's why it's important to keep an eye on things, especially with your first alert weather app, as you're getting things planned ahead of Thanksgiving. West Shore Home first alert sky cams all on your screen featuring 30 and some lower and middle 40 degree temperatures. Skies on the fair side. Perhaps you're doing a little traveling today, heading up to the northeast corridor. All in all, things looking pretty good up I-95. No concerns with slick roads, ponded roads, or even bad crosswinds, anything like that should have the green light there. Composite radar and satellite going to verify that for us. You see those showers taking shape off to the north. We'll come a little closer to the Carolinas, and from there we'll take you forward hour by hour with cloud and future radar. So clouds starting to pick up here this afternoon. Here's some of the prefrontal showers we mentioned coming through during the overnight. Sharpening in some cases, and here's tomorrow afternoon. I think a lot of the heaviest stuff may remain to the north. But watch as some of these broken showers and storms could produce some heavy downpours. And that unsettled pattern going to stick with us all the way through Tuesday night and even parts of Wednesday morning. By Wednesday afternoon, we're on the back end of things. A few leftover clouds, a sprinkle or two. And Thursday starting to shape up to be pretty nice. This is overnight Wednesday into Thursday, so no huge concerns there. In fact, we'll put those rain chances, as you can see, a little closer to zero for the afternoon. Another sneaky low pressure system trying to work its way up. Ahead of the weekend, I think the highest rain chance is going to be really Friday night. Drying out comes Saturday, and notice the overall cooler trend, Bill, as we head toward the end of the month. Upper 50s, lower 60s, even some frosty 30s possible to return here to the Wilmington Metro. A 10-day forecast always at your fingertips and available for you across the lower 48 if you're on the go with the WECT Weather app. It's a great tool, Bill.